my dear friends welcome to the essentials of inorganic chemistry i am your friend dr vidhi bhat today i am going to discuss the preparation properties and structure as well as some derivatives of a compound known as borazine borazol or popularly sometimes also called inorganic benzene now friends these compound borazine or borazol is an important constituent of inorganic polymer chemistry so i am considering this under the title of inorganic polymers this is the first talk in the series and eventually i will be discussing some more such compounds in the next talks now let me give you a brief introduction friends you must have been convergent with the term polymers now the word polymer is a greek word which is made up of two words poly and mer in greek language poly means many and mer means part so polymer is something which has many parts now in chemistry we say that polymer is a giant or a large molecule or a molecular with molecule with very high molecular weight which is made up of repeating units so friends in chemistry we may come across two different terms one will be macro molecule and other will be polymer now all the polymers are macro molecules but all the macro molecules may or may not be polymers in order to understand that i will give you an example of a railway train you know railway train is a is a very large or a very giant body which is made up of a large number of repeating units known as bogies and they are connected to each other so in chemistry the bogie of a train may be named as monomer and when large number of such bogies are connected then it is a polymer now if somebody constructs a very long vehicle which may be even as long as the train but if it is not made up of several bogies then it cannot be regarded as polymer it has to be regarded as a macro molecule so with this analogy i hope you will be able to understand and distinguish the term polymer as well as the macro molecules now inorganic polymers you know organic polymers are the polymers that have carbon in their backbone or the skeleton but if the polymers do not have carbon in their backbone or the skeleton then the polymers are known as inorganic polymers now there are variety of inorganic polymers the compound that we are going to discuss today contains boron and nitrogen and this borazine or borazol is an important compound in a class of compounds which are the inorganic polymers containing boron that is why this compound has been included otherwise as such you will see that the borazine which has a formula b3 and 3h6 does not really qualify to be a polymer but there are several derivatives of borazine or borazine is used to make a good number of inorganic polymers which fall under the category of polymers containing boron now friends i have already told you that this borazine is also known as 
inorganic benzene. This is little bit interesting. Why should it be known as inorganic benzene? Just take a look at the structure. Here I have shown the structure of borazine and on the other side I have shown the structure of benzene. You will see that both these molecules are hexagonal planar molecules. Both these molecules have alternate double bonds or I will say delocalized pi electrons in the rings. Both these molecules contain six hydrogens. In case of benzene, you will see that the six membered ring contains six carbon atoms. Whereas in case of borazine, you will see that there are three boron atoms and three nitrogen atoms which are placed on alternate positions. So, let us try and understand and compare the BN bond with a CC bond. First we will consider it in terms of electrons. Now you know that the atomic number of boron is 5 and therefore it has 5 electrons. Then the atomic number of carbon is 6, it has 6 electrons. The atomic number of nitrogen is 7, it has 7 electrons. If I add boron and nitrogen then it is 5 plus 7 which is equal to 12. This is equal to the addition of two carbons 6 plus 6 so 12. This is called an isoelectronic situation. So as far as the number of electrons are concerned they are same. So this gives rise to some interesting properties in borazine which are very much nearer to that of the benzene and that is why borazine is also known as inorganic benzene. Now we will be discussing the structure of borazine and comparing it with the benzene but before that let us have a look at some reactions which lead to the formation of borazine. The first reaction, 3 moles of a compound called diborane. Now if this compound is new to you, then you can refer my lecture on boranes. There I have discussed the structure of this diborane in full detail. But here also I will give you a very brief introduction. You know, diborane is a compound with a formula similar to that of ethane. Ethane is C2H6 whereas diborane is B2H6. In ethane you will see that each carbon atom has three terminal hydrogen atoms whereas in diborane you will see that the two boron atoms are bonded to each other through two bridge bonds, BHB bridge bonds. These are known as banana bonds or three center two electron bonds. For better understanding or detailed information, you can refer one of my previous lectures on uh, boron cluster chemistry. Now three molecules of diborane can react with six molecules of, of ammonia to give two molecules of this compound which we know it is borazine. There are more than one methods for preparing your borazine. The other reaction which can lead to borazine is a reaction between 3 moles of ammonium chloride and 3 moles of boron trichloride which will first give you a derivative of borazine known as BBB trichloroborazine and when this BBB trichloroborazine is treated with <coughs> 6 moles of 
lithium borohydride then you get two moles of your borazine so this structure is of bbb trichloroborazine here you will see that the hydrogens on boron are replaced by three chlorine atoms there is yet another way of making your borazine you can react three moles of ammonium chloride with three moles of lithium borohydride to get one mole of borazine along with lithium chloride and hydrogen so these are the three popular methods for making borazine now let us take a look at the properties of borazine the compound borazine is a colorless volatile liquid it has a boiling point of 64.5 degrees celsius and melting point of minus 58 degrees celsius then borazine is highly unstable and it decomposes to give diborane and hydrogen even when stored at minus 80 degrees celsius now you see that the molecular weight the boiling point heat of vaporization and a constant called trotons constant friends this trotons constant is actually the ratio of heat of vaporization to the boiling point so all these properties of borazine are very near to benzene and that is the main reason why borazine is also known as inorganic benzene but eventually you will see that there are lot of other properties which are quite different from benzene this you will be able to appreciate when you take a look at some of the reactions given by borazine or the borazol first let us consider the adduct formation friends adduct is a type of product in many reactions you will find that when two reactants react with each other then a product is formed in addition to that a small by product a small molecule is also formed as a by product but sometimes you will see that the reactants react with each other to make only one molecule in that case the product is known as adduct so when you react this borazine with three molecules of hcl you will see that this type of adduct is formed what happens that you have three nitrogen and three boron atoms and you are reacting with three hcl molecules so the three h atoms go to the nitrogen see initially there was only one but on all the nitrogens you will see that now there are two hydrogen atoms and three chlorine atoms go to the three boron atoms so now you have three chlorine also and this product is called an adduct now this adduct upon reduction will give you a compound called bbb trichloroborazine here you will see that with the loss of 3h2 molecules that is loss of hydrogen atom from each of the boron and nitrogen will give you this product bbb trichloroborazine what we have observed over here is that the even though there are three chlorine atoms they selectively get attached to the boron rather than nitrogen a very very similar reaction is given by bromine so instead of hcl if you take hbr then you get a bromo product and uh, 
later on with the loss of 3H2 it will give BBB ribromoborazine. This borazine also gives a similar reaction with 3 molecules of methanol. Upon reacting borazine with methanol, you get an adduct which is very very similar to that of the adduct that we observed in the previous reaction and this adduct upon losing 3H2 then gives a compound BBB trimethoxyborane. Here also you will see that the CH3O- group attaches to the boron. So these are a couple of reactions involving borazine. Now let us take a look at similar treatment given to benzene. Instead of borazine, if we take benzene and try to carry out these reactions, you will see that the product will be either chlorobenzene or bromobenzene, but it will be a monochlorinated or monobrominated product. Here you get tri substituted product. So that is a difference between the borazine and benzene in terms of chemical reactivity. Now borazine also gives interesting reactions with different quantities of water. It has been observed that borazine undergoes hydrolysis with 9 molecules of H2O, whereas if you provide it only 3 moles of H2O, then it will give substitution reaction. Let us see. When you react borazine with 9 moles of water, then you get 3 moles of this compound H3BO3. This compound is boric acid and the byproducts will be 3 ammonia molecules and 3 H2 molecules. So with 9 molecules of water, borazine will be converted into boric acid. But when you take 3 molecules of water, then you will see that the OH, OH minus goes to the boron atom. So this is your BBB trihydroxyborazine. You might not have come across any such reaction with benzene. Benzene does not react with water to give phenol or trihydroxybenzene or any hydroxy substituted benzene. Then comes pyrolysis. Pyro means heat, lysis means breaking, so breaking or decomposition. So when you perform pyrolysis on borazine, then you get two different types of compounds which are similar or analogous to diphenyl compounds in case of benzene. See this looks like diphenyl or it also gives naphthalene analogous compound. This looks like naphthalene. The two rings are fused. So it is a naphthalene analog. Now <laughs> let us systematically compare the borazine and your benzene. So here I have created a table and one by one we will be seeing the different physical and chemical properties of borazine versus benzene. In the first column we are taking the properties, in the second column we are taking the borazine and in the third column we are taking the benzene. So first of all shape, we have already seen that both these molecules are hexagonal planar. Then comes bond angle. In both the cases you will see that the bond angle is 120. Then comes bond length that is CC bond length or BN bond length. In case of borazine you will see that the bond length is 1.44 angstrom and in case of 
benzene you know it is 1.42 angstrom which is an intermediate of single bond and double bond then comes the hybridization both the molecules contain the ring atoms in sp2 hybrid state and that explains the planarity of the molecule now here comes a difference bond in case of borazine the bond between ring atoms are polar whereas in case of benzene they are pure covalent or non polar you know in case of borazine you have a bond between boron and nitrogen these are two different elements and therefore they have different electron negativities and therefore they pull this bonded electron pair or the electron density with different power you will see that in this case nitrogen has a greater electron negativity than boron and therefore the electron pair or the electron density will remain nearer to nitrogen as compared to that of boron and therefore there will be partial positive charge over boron and partial negative charge over your nitrogen and therefore you will see that if at all you have electro negative substituents for example cl minus br minus or even oh minus containing negative charge then they will occupy a position on boron rather than nitrogen so this we have already seen in the reactions of borazine now comes aromaticity both these compounds are aromatic but when it comes to the delocalization of pi electrons you know that in case of benzene there is a complete delocalization of pi electrons and therefore sometimes we show benzene by a circle in the hexagon we say that the pi electrons are completely delocalized but when it comes to borazine you have boron and nitrogen atoms on alternate positions so what happens the nitrogen has its orbitals with lower energy as compared to that of the orbitals of boron and therefore the electron density will be to some extent localized on nitrogen atom and therefore you will not be able to find a complete delocalization of the pi electrons in case of borazine next comes acidity now you know acidity is the ability to accept electrons and basicity is the ability to donate electrons you have already seen that boron has a tendency to accept electron it will invite the substituent with negative charges over it negative charge means excess electrons so boron is more acidic nitrogen is basic whereas in case of benzene all the carbons have same acidity then comes a reaction which we which we have already discussed adduct formation the borazine gives adduct benzene never gives adduct product and we have seen that in case of borazine the electronegative atom bonds to boron while less electronegative atom bonds to nitrogen so if you have hcl then cl is more electronegative it will go to boron and h is less electronegative it will go to nitrogen so that was something about comparison of borazine and your uh, benzene next comes substituted borazoles this time i have used the name borazoles we know that borazine and borazol are the alternative names of the borazine 
बी 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 ट्राई मिथाइल बोराजन इफ यू टेक थ्री मोल्स ऑफ ट्राई मिथाइल बोरेन एंड रिएक्ट इट विथ थ्री मोल्स ऑफ अमोनिया एट अराउंड और टेम्परेचर हायर देन थ्री हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी डिग्री एंड एट ट्वेंटी एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर देन यू विल गेट दिस कंपाउंड वेर यू विल सी दैट ईच ऑफ द बोरॉन एटम इज अटैच टू मिथाइल ग्रुप्स सो दिस इज योर बी 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 ट्राई मिथाइल बोरा साइन दिस कंपाउंड हैज अ मेल्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ थर्टी टू डिग्री बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी सेवन डिग्री इट इज क्रिस्टलाइन कलरलेस इन सोल्यूबल इन वाटर सोल्यूबल इन ऑर्गेनिक सॉल्यूट बट द इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड इज दैट एट हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस इट रिएक्ट विथ वाटर सो इफ यू रिएक्ट दिस बी 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 ट्राई मिथाइल बोराजाइन विथ थ्री मोर्स ऑफ वाटर देन एट हंड्रेड डिग्री यू विल सी ए वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रोडक्ट दिस इज नॉन एज बी 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 ट्राई मिथाइल बोरोक्साइन ऑक्साइन the nitrogens will be replaced by oxygen with liberation of three moles of ammonia this is your bbb trimethyl boroxine then we will have a look at one more derivative or substituted boroxine this boroxine it is again isoelectronic with benzene and borazine you will see that when you compare this to then in place of hydrogen you have put oxygen we know that the atomic number of boron is 5 carbon is 6 nitrogen is 7 and then oxygen is 8 now this oxygen has one less hydrogen if it was nitrogen then it would have one hydrogen over it so one electron is less and one atomic number is more therefore you will find that this boroxine is isoelectronic with benzene as well as borazine so this is your boroxine one more interesting derivative this time you have n substituted borazine means the substituents are on nitrogen n n n trimethyl borazine oh here i have made one mistake but uh, you will understand it in place of this ca3 it has to be h all the three nitrogen atoms contain methyl groups whereas all the three boron atoms will contain hydrogens this is a colorless liquid with melting point minus 9 degrees celsius boiling point 132 degrees celsius and it is very stable as far as the thermal stability is concerned it is stable up to 500 degrees celsius so friends this was something about borazine also known as borazol and popularly known as inorganic benzene i shall be discussing some more such compounds in this series but we will call it a day for this lecture and finally i would like to thank you and wish you goodbye